Titus was a king who lived for gold. Although he had a handful himself, he despised anyone else who might also have some. In spite of his behavior, he blamed Apollo for his greediness with the gold. Apollo then came down to him and granted Midas the wish of turning all he touched to pure gold. With this, he took his privilege and started to turn his garden roses to sharp gold. Seeing this, his only daughter cried and without realization, he touched her and turned her to a golden statue. Frightened, he left from the garden in search of food and a drink. As Midas was asleep, he started to sleep talk about all his gold that he has. As Midas went to go touch the gold, he turned it into gold and then took a bite, cutting his mouth on the inside. Now his blessing cursed him from the ability of eating or drinking without turning it into gold. Frustrated, he cried out and Apollo decided he now had enough torture and relieved him of his power of touching gold. All that was gold before turned back into its original state. Now Apollo gave Midas a pair of donkey ears, replacing his own as a punishment for his wish to teach him a lifelong lesson. Comprehending his mistake, he took his new toll but hid his ears underneath the hat. He was aware that one, no one would know of his ears other than his barber. For this, he made him swear he could tell no one. Unfortunately, soon enough, the secret was too much to bear. So the man dug a hole and whispered into the hole about the king's donkey's ears. But he sat so next to a river that whispered it to everyone around until all knew. After finding this out, the king ordered to chop off his head, but in pity, he decided not to punish him, but recognizing his mistake as one of his own. With this, Apollo knew he had learned his lesson and gave him his normal ears as a reward. Years after the events that transpired with Midas and Apollo, Midas goes back to tell his granddaughter the stories of how everything he touched turned to gold. And whenever he tells the story, What's up you guys, this is Ken Merge here. So basically this is a group project for my English class with you know at least few of my classmates doing it all together and it's pretty much already done and I feel proud of myself and not only that I also give props to also my classmates or just generally people in my group for mythology or whatever you want to call it for this little short film. And basically, I have worked for hours on editing, like five, six hours straight at least. And it was kind of tiring, but at the same time, pretty interesting. So, I mean, I'm, I mean, I'm not lying. This is how much I've edited and all that. That's pretty much mostly said, but anything else, I would just like to thank all of my classmates who are in my group that have you know, work their butts off for acting and doing all these great things. So that's pretty much summed up. And you can also check my other uploads if you can. And hopefully, please be sure to subscribe. Feel free to leave any questions, suggestions, um, anything else, pretty much. And that's pretty much it. But so far, it's like about... I mean, look at the time. I mean, yeah, it's kind of late. I mean, it's like approximately 1.36 or 7, and I'm kind of, I know my eyes are red, but yeah, that's all I have to say, so I'll see you guys later. Peace out. Midas is a king who is greedy for gold, and now he is yelling at Apollo. 
because... Oh my, you just ruined it now. <laughs> Go. Wait. Oh. No. Oh my God. No. Oh my God. 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 Oh my